Hello everyone, welcome to Target Focus Life. Today, I'm taking a look at my top five picks of over-under shotguns of 2022. If you wanna find out which ones made the cut, let's go. year I reviewed a bunch of over-under shotguns. I had a blast doing it. I love hinge guns and we're breaking it down to five categories today. We're gonna go from best clay shooting over-under, best duck hunting, best upland, best all-purpose, and then we'll round out the top five with best bang for the buck. Starting out with the best clay shooting over-under shotgun that I have reviewed to date. It is none other than the Browning Satori 725 shotgun. This just so happened to be my favorite over under that I shot all year long. So much to like about this shotgun. This particular 725 is in 28 gauge, but there's many different bore options available. I maybe went shoot clays a lot with the 28 gauge, but I tell you what, I did shoot clays with this 28 gauge very consistently, just felt super natural. The Satori 725 has a palm swell. It has trigger shoes that can be replaced. This particular one has a canted trigger, but there's several different trigger options if you don't like the feel of that. I love it, by the way. You can also adjust the length of pull of the trigger. So you can move it forward or rearward to get that perfect fit and feel of your sporting shotgun. The way this gun feels in the hand between the palm swell and the forearm, it feels amazing. Great balance, mounts super natural. So much to love about this shotgun. It does have a mid bead and a front fiber bead, vented barrels. The action of the Satori is one that's gonna last for a really long time. I wanna kinda end this review and go shoot it right now to be honest with you. But we're going to keep on rolling. That is the Browning Satori 725. Top pick for a clay shooting gun. Now, I'm not talking like a specific discipline like trap, skeet, or sporting clays, but just all around clay shooting. You could definitely do any of the disciplines with that. Moving right along to duck hunting guns. Now, maybe not a lot of you are using over-unders to shoot ducks. I know there's some out there that do. Comment down below if you love to use an over-under while duck hunting. If I had to grab any of the over-unders that I've reviewed, bring it out to the duck blind. I generally don't go for the over-unders, but I would probably go with the Browning Synergy. <laughs> Browning does make this synergy in the Wicked Wing Edition. Vintage camo, Cerakoted receiver and barrel. It looks amazing. Now this gun is a little bit heavy, but if you're in a duck blind, not the end of the world. I've also shot this gun quite a few times at Clay's. I've used it as a trap gun. It's a very solid action, very well built gun. Not the flashiest. Pretty basic in the field model. The trigger on the synergy is a mechanical trigger, you know, because I was able to fire it twice without a shot going off. The same is true for the 725 Satori. Mechanical triggers on both these guns. I love a mechanical trigger over an inertia trigger. The Synergy also has a stepped up rib, much like the 725. So if I'm heading out to the duck blind and I'm gonna choose an over-under, we're going the Synergy. A pretty good all-around gun as well, other than if I'm walking long days in the field, this is not gonna be my gun of choice. Now, if we are walking long days in the field, if I'm doing some upland hunting, whether I'm chasing pheasants or grouse or even quail, which gun am I grabbing? Out of all the over-unders that I reviewed, I'm gonna have to go with the Breda 686 Silver Pigeon. This particular gun is in 20 gauge. I love the way it feels in the hands. I would be happy to use a 20 gauge pheasant hunting grouse hunting, quail hunting. Some of you might want a 12 gauge. They also make it in 12 gauge. The only thing that really kind of drove me crazy about this gun was the auto safety. So every time you break the gun open, the safety goes back on, right? So if you're walking the field, not a big deal, except for this safety was really hard on my gun. Now I've looked at the comments when I reviewed this gun. Some folks did say their safety was really stiff when they first started shooting it, but it loosened up. You can also change the safety so that it doesn't go on auto safety. So that's something I'd probably remedy. Other people said they had no issues with the safety, but I realized every time I tried to mount it, it was just right there. I mean, look how tough that is to push up. Other than that, it's a very beautiful gun at the price point. 
The 686 Silver Pigeon has inertia triggers. As you can tell, I wasn't able to shoot it a second time. Beautiful gun, feels great in the hands, moderate to easy on the recoil. Definitely a great field shotgun. Now, all-purpose shotgun, something that we can use for a little bit of everything, whether we're clay shooting, duck hunting, whatever we're doing. This gun stood out to me this year because it is a fantastic looking shotgun that shoots really well and it doesn't break the bank. So when it comes to over-unders, I put a little more emphasis on looks than I may on a semi-auto shotgun. I really have a thing for hinge guns, double barrel guns that also look pretty. And the Franke Instinct is definitely that gun. It is a side plate, so you see how the action comes all the way back here. These side plates come into the stock. You can see it is color case hardened, has a pheasant on one side, has a quail on the other side. The top lever, as you can see right there, just has some uniqueness to it. It has engravings all along the top. When it came to guns that I shot this year, this was definitely one of the prettier looking guns. It's not a high-end gun by any means doesn't have a super high price tag. Just a great all around looking gun and all around shooting gun. Definitely enjoyed the Franke Instinct. Franke not necessarily known for their over-unders, but if I just need an all around gun, one that I was happy to take in the field, shoot clays with, this would be the gun I'd grab. Last, but certainly not least, is the over-under that is the best bang for the buck. If I had to make this video before shooting all these guns, this next gun is not necessarily the one that would have come to mind. But that's why I go out, do the reviews, shoot the guns, test them in different ways, because I learn so much when I'm actually out hands-on shooting them. And sometimes I see reviews online of people that don't actually shoot the guns. They take like stock images, they get the information off the websites, and then they make like these top five lists, and they've never even shot the guns which just kind of blows my mind. This gun, the best bang for the buck, is the Weatherby Orion. Now it's not gonna win the award for the best looking gun. It's not gonna win the award for the best ergonomics. Doesn't feel terrible, but it's a little bit chunky on the forearm for sure. But when it comes to a quality over under that isn't gonna break the bank, more affordable than any of these shotguns on the list, just a great quality overall shotgun. If you wanna get into an over under, start shooting clays with it, do a little upland hunting with it, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the Weatherby Orion. If you're just in it for the looks, that's up to you. Not, I mean, it's not an ugly shotgun. I do like the stock. I don't like the finish. It seems kind of basic and boring to me, but a quality shotgun for the money. This rises to the top as the best bang for the buck in over-under shotguns. Now I did review a bunch of over-under shotguns this year. There's a whole lot more to go. The world of double barrel shotguns is vast. I would love to hear from you in the comments what over-under shotguns I have not reviewed yet that you think I should review. Put that in the comments, as well as if there's anything in this list that you disagree with me about or agree with me about, I'd love to see that in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't done so already, check out my top five pump shotgun video by clicking right over here. And next week, we have the top semi-automatic shotgun video coming out, so stay tuned for that. Remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots that you're laser focused on. So live target focused. See ya.